Hello everyone, I'm Erica Troutman, Product Director for Google Workspace. There has been a ton of innovation in Workspace this past year, and in the next 15 minutes, I get to share with you all the progress we've made helping teams of all sizes to connect, create, and collaborate. This demo has two parts. In the first, I'll be showing you Workspace in action through a little story that we've created, and then I'll hand it off to my colleague, Matt Isat, who will show you all the ways developers can build on the Workspace platform. And as a reminder, before we get started, this is truly a live session, so you never know what's gonna happen. If you haven't already, click the button that says, join the interactive experience on the next website, and then we'll see you in the live room where you can interact with chats and do fun stuff like take polls, which we're gonna try out right now. How many employees have you or your company onboarded virtually this year? Let us know in the poll below, below under 10, 11 to 25, 26 to 50, or more than 50. I know that for me, recruiting and getting people in the door, that got harder during the start of the pandemic, taking that brand new person that you worked so hard to find, bringing them up to speed, making them feel like they're part of the team and really enabling them to do great work those critical first few weeks on the job. And of course, it is so overwhelming to be that new hire. You're learning not just the role, but the tools, the processes, the people, and the culture, maybe remotely. So I wanna show you how Workspace is making this easier. Please meet our hero, Pablo. He is in exactly this position. He's about to receive an offer letter from his dream employer, Symbol Manufacturing, which by the way is not a real company, in case you were wondering, so don't go look it up. His hiring manager, Allison, is gonna help onboard him at the company. Allison is really, really excited to get Pablo on board, and there are a ton of steps in the process that she's gonna help him through. So, we'll show you how she uses Workspace to help streamline that experience for both of them, even when it requires using third-party software or custom tools the Symbol team built within Workspace. The point here, as Javier mentioned, is that Workspace is a platform that brings together the right tools in the right way at the right time, whether those tools are built by Google or someone else. Okay, before we get back to Pablo's and Allison's story, let's see what you have been experiencing here in the poll. Wow, it looks like 48% of you say that you've onboarded more than 50 people this year. That is a lot. So I think you are going to be able to relate to Allison. When you were recruiting and onboarding, what was the first thing that you did? I think uh, probably you sent them an offer letter and fingers crossed, hope they signed it. Allison uses the DocuSign integration in Google Docs to do just that. So here you see Pablo is going to check his personal Gmail on his mobile phone. And oh, he just scrolled past it. There's an offer letter in there. He's gonna click on that and open up DocuSign right there within the email. He clicks, sees the nice cover letter Allison has sent him, clicks to open the document itself. Okay, great. Start dates right, they spelled his name right, salary's what they talked about. I think he's gonna accept. He signs the offer letter with his finger right there on his phone without leaving Gmail. Come on, Pablo, sign, sign. And he signs and clicks submit and Allison, oh, she's so relieved. In other systems, Pablo might have had to stop what he was doing, open another tab to review and sign the agreement, go back to Gmail, hopefully remember where he left off. It's just unnecessarily disruptive if you're signing a single contract, but if you're someone who reviews and signs contracts all the time, it's incredibly onerous. So deep integrations with leading third-party apps like DocuSign save you valuable time and keep you focused on your core job. Audience, if you have any favorite Google Workspace in integrations, we would love it if you would share those in the comments because it's a great way to help everyone who's out there discover, everyone who's there discover the best of what's out there. All right, back at Symbol, when Pablo returned his offer letter, that kicked off the onboarding process. So let's see what happens next. Pablo's now at home on his personal Gmail and he sees an email from Allison come in at the top there. He opens it, notices, hmm, this is not a typical email. This is an app sheet dynamic email, which allows him to interact with the form without ever leaving his inbox. So what he's doing here is selecting his laptop, accessory type, desk type, t-shirt size, really important. He enters his address, clicks submit, and just like that, Symbol can now send him his stuff. 
This is especially important because Pablo is going to work remotely initially. Just like with the DocuSign example, the dynamic email lets him complete his tasks where he is in Gmail, saving him the time and hassle of toggling back and forth between tabs and apps just to fill out a form. And by the way, if throughout any of this you have questions regarding dynamic emails or app sheet, please comment below so that we can address them in the Q&A. Let's fast forward to Pablo's first day on the job. He's received his equipment. He's excited to work. He's in calendar and notices, oh, he's got a one-on-one -on -one with Allison coming up. He's going to click on that calendar invite and join the meeting with Allison. Allison welcomes him to Symbol, offers to give him a short overview of calendar and meet. So here, she's showing him how to set up his working location and working hours so that his colleagues, who are global, know when he's available and when he's off. Features like these, only available in Google Workspace, really improve employee well-being and overall job satisfaction. They help employees better coordinate how and when to work together, ensuring both productivity and time to recharge, even though our offices might be in our bedrooms or our kitchens. Honestly, Pablo's going to spend a lot of time in meetings. So Allison shows him all the great new features that have been added to Meet over the past year. The interface is new and easier to use. Here she's showing him how to get into some of the advanced features. He's definitely going to want to turn on noise cancellation, which is Great for filtering out dogs barking or neighborhood construction. And if you're having trouble hearing someone, you can just click on the closed caption button to follow along in live captions, even in a different language than what's being spoken, which blows my mind. AI-powered translated captions in meetings are launching soon, and only Google Workspace offers this built in for everyone. There's also a host of new features, which she's showing him here to boost engagement, so chat, polls, these magical little breakout rooms that she's going to show that transport you to smaller groups where you can brainstorm, whiteboards, integrations with Google Docs. At this point, at this point the one-on-one -on -one wraps up, and Allison suggests he goes into Gmail and start exploring the spaces he's been added to. We recently launched spaces, which are the evolution of rooms in Google Chat, and they're the central place for team collaboration in Google Workspace. Pablo looks at the team space and notice his team has written him a bunch of welcome messages, which is really great. He, res he responds, and now he's going to browse the spaces that are available to him, and he discovers one particularly relevant to his work, Quality Inspector Managers North America. Awesome, that's him. In this space, he can connect with his colleagues, discuss ideas, and collaborate on projects easily. Spaces are unique in that they're tightly integrated with the entire Google Workspace product set, so calendar, Drive, Doc Sheets and Slides, Meet and Tasks, bringing all the tools you need to engage in topic-based discussions, share knowledge and ideas, move projects forward, and build communities and team culture. Pablo notices there's a little bubble with Allison's image, which means she sent him a direct message. Turns out this is Pablo's first project, and Allison shared a document which, with him, which we can see in the preview here. Pablo opens the document and notices his coworkers already pre-populated some of the core information. So facilities, number of workers per facility on the floor, and types of tasks that they perform. Pablo's job is to optimize the process that managers use to create tickets and send them to their quality inspectors on the front line. OK, to do this at his prior company, Pablo would have needed to secure IT assistance at a minimum, and more probably a contractor and probably a budget to go build an app. So not fast, not easy. Instead, Pablo's going to use AppSheet. He connects his sheet to AppSheet, and after about an hour of customization, he's created a quality inspection app that his team can use. So he opens it up uh, to file his first ticket to one of his quality inspectors. Now what? All right, over on the manufacturing floor, we meet Adu a quality inspector reporting to Pablo. And he's just received a pop-up notification on his phone with the inspection ticket Pablo assigned to him. So he pulls up the app sheet app that Pablo created and performs the inspection. He's gonna take a picture of the completed job. Let's, get, let's see if he get, we can get him over there into the app sheet app. Oh, he's noticed that he's got it. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right, he's now in the app. <laughs> And he's going to take a picture of the job once it's completed. He's going to annotate that. 
and submit it as closed. And that then will notify Pablo on Pablo's side of the app. So hopefully you saw how easy that was to make collaboration more efficient between an office and frontline worker. He used a really simple but powerful app sheet app to eliminate the whole back and forth between emails and chats and then maybe switching to an external ticketing system and then more emails and more app, uh, more chatting. At this point, if any of you can think of useful applications for AppSheet in your organization, please share those with us in the form below. So think about um, all of those repetitive tasks that make you crazy day to day. Those are the kind of things that AppSheet can automate for you. Back to Paolo, it's the end of his first week on the job. He pulls up calendar in the sidebar while in Gmail, and he notices he should be joining the team meeting. So he clicks to join. On the call, Allison introduces Pablo to everyone and asks him to share his reflections on his first week. And he is really proud of the app that he built in AppSheet, especially since this is a tool the entire team can adopt. He shows how easy it is to create requests, assign one to an inspector, follow the status. He also pulls up the request that he sent to a do that was already completed. And if Pablo were joining from a conference room, because hopefully someday he will, he could use companion mode, a feature that's only available in Google Meet to seamlessly join and share from his laptop while using in-room audio and video. And with some congratulatory emojis from his colleagues, Allison closes off the meeting and the weekend can begin. I think it's fair to say that Pablo helped us with quite a lot of demos in his first week on the job, so thank you, Pablo. Um, and I hope that you can see how at every turn, Google Workspace helped people connect and collaborate to get more done with an intuitive and integrated set of tools. With that, I'd like to introduce my colleague, Matt Isaac, who's going to take us under the hood and talk about how you can build on the work Workspace platform. Thanks, Erica. Hi, everyone. I'm Matthew Isaac, and I lead product for the Google Workspace platform. Under that hood is a powerful engine. Let's talk about how you can take advantage and build on the Workspace platform. As Javier mentioned, more than 4.8 billion apps have been installed in Workspace to date. This stunning number illustrates that Workspace is more than a hub for work. It's a powerful enabler of workflows. The opportunity to build on the Workspace platform is massive. Nearly half the world's population is already using Workspace. That's a huge audience, whether you want to grow an existing business app or build an entirely new business on the platform. To help you build experiences to reach these 3 billion users, we've delivered a range of tools so you can innovate. From no-code options like AppSheet, as Erica just covered, to powerful scripting with AppScript, to a complete set of easy-to-use APIs. And we've been listening to your feedback. Developers want to use their own preferred language and tools when building integrations like workspace add-ons or chat apps, or even using our large collection of REST APIs. So we've opened up the platform to support development with any tools, any language, on any public cloud. Of course, if you're using Google Cloud, then why wouldn't you? Take advantage of Cloud Run, Cloud Data Store, and Cloud AI to power your app. So there's a big opportunity to build on the Workspace platform with the tools and languages of your choice. Now let's take a look at how the process works across the three core stages of app development, the design, develop, and publish phases of your app. Starting with the design phase, we've created the Card Builder tool. This tool allows you to lay out the visual design and user experience of your app. There are a range of templates, and you can also drag and drop components of the app around, like a no-code platform. But for more advanced developers, you also have the ability to see the code in the editor and make updates there as well. As we move on to the develop phase, you now have a range of language and tooling to choose from, whether using options from Google like AppScript or your own preferred language and tooling. While AppScript is a great option for developers, we have invested in and extended the Google Workspace platform to embrace a wider range of industry standard tools so developers can use their own tech stack and reuse their existing code when building for Workspace. When your integration is complete, congratulations. You're ready to publish it for public use in the Workspace marketplace, where it will be available for billions of users. It's worth noting that there are more than 5,300 
publicly available apps in the marketplace today. This number really highlights the diversity of use cases and remarkable opportunity for developers in building for workspace. And of course, if you're developing a custom app for use in your own organization, you have the ability to publish that app privately. So it remains available exclusively for the use of your organization. So there you have it, a quick tour of how you design, develop, and publish new integrations for Workspace. Now let's hear from you. What Workspace platform technologies are you curious to learn more about throughout the conference? Is it developer tools and languages like AppScript or AppSheet? Or maybe it's product integration through add-ons or chat apps, or perhaps data APIs or data access through Workspace APIs. But that's enough about the technology platform. Why don't we take a look at a few real world examples of integrations developed for Workspace? And let's start with the Copper CRM add-on for Gmail. Copper identified a problem. Workspace users needed a simple but powerful CRM solution that is built to work with apps in Workspace. So naturally, they built a solution. Here you can see it in action. As a sales rep receives an email from a customer, the Copper add-on detects the email. After installation, the Copper add-on will detect the email and pull up the customer information automatically. With the customer's information right next to their email, so when we click through the, uh, the installation, we will eventually get to seeing the, there we are. The as you can see, the copper, the, the copper add-on has detected the email and pull up the information automatically for the user. And with the customer's information right next to their email, the sales rep has all the insight they need from Copper and can craft the best response to the customer, all without leaving Gmail. Copper is a perfect example of a business that has grown alongside Workspace. And today, 100%, yes, that's correct, all of their business comes from Workspace customers. These are customers who value a best-in-class CRM solution with deep native integration to critical Workspace apps, such as Gmail, Drive, and Calendar. The opportunity to build for the Workspace platform spans multiple surface areas. So let's take a look at how this looks in chat and spaces with the brand new Jira bot from Atlassian. Here, you can see a customer service rep jumping into the customer success chat space to report an issue with a customer. After a short discussion in the space, the rep creates an issue in Jira via the Jira bot. Every time there's a status update on the case, the Jira bot will update the team members in the chat. This saves the entire team valuable time they might have spent going back and forth to Jira and checking updates. It also helps the team focus on collaborating together to help the customer instead of navigating their tools. We'd love to hear what workspace integration or apps you're using or would like to see. Please share it in the comments so that the community hears what are some of the best. These are just a few examples of how developers are innovating in Workspace and driving business value for themselves and their customers. We can't wait to see what you create and innovate on Workspace, whether it's a no-code app or professionally developed solution. Either way, we've provided a rich canvas for you to start with and believe the best is yet to come. So looking at the chat, it looks like you're excited to get going and ready to get started. Visit developers.google.com slash workspace to learn more about integrating with Workspace. Thanks to my colleague, Matt, for taking us under the hood with Workspace today. And a special thanks to you, our audience, for your engagement. We love seeing your comments on chat. Now stay tuned for our live Q&A covering everything from our spotlight and this demo. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon.